It's not just luxurious, it's got the cleverest use of space that I've seen in a motorhome. Hi, I'm Andy Torbert. And I'm Becky Biggins. And this is the brand new Allura 694S from Bailey. Now the 4S can sleep up to four people in two double beds and it also has four travel seats to keep everybody safe and secure when you're on the go. And speaking of being on the go, it's less than three and a half tonnes so anyone can drive with a normal driving licence. It's also narrower than a normal motorhome so it's easier to drive and easier to park. Now it is a gorgeous if chilly day here in Bristol so um, I think we should go inside. Here we are in the cab, the very comfy cab. Now, the Allura is based on a Ford Transit, so it gives you 130 brake horsepower and this manual gearbox comes as standard. Now, if you want to upgrade that, you can, of course, upgrade it to an automatic transmission. It's under three and a half tonnes, which means that you can drive it on a normal driving licence. So let's look at what comes as standard because it is a long list on this model. First of all, you've got this incredible 12 inch infotainment system. It's a touch screen. It's got an integrated sat nav. It's got Apple CarPlay and it also serves as the monitor for the reversing camera, which comes as standard on this model. Now you've got cruise control, you've got air conditioning and you've also got all of your cab blinds, which just pop out of here which are included as standard. Now, not many motorhomes have them included as standard, but this one does. Welcome to the living area. I like it in here a lot. So you've got these lovely, comfortable captain's chairs, and I'd like to draw your attention to this headrest. You can drive whilst wearing a ponytail. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got these gorgeous, gorgeous sofas. Not only are they upholstered really beautifully, but these, I'm going to call it oatmeal, these oatmeal coloured sections have been treated porridge. with a special... So if you drop your porridge on them, you can just wipe it off and it won't stain. You can wipe them off just with water, don't need to carry chemicals. Which has happened with two small children. Yeah, it happens pretty much every day. So these convert into the travel seats, you just flip them up, but also you can convert this whole area into a lovely double bed. Now from a power point of view, the leisure battery is a 92 amp hour battery. And then charging in here, you've got uh, two 12 volt chargers, you've got five USB style chargers, and you've got four three pin 240 volt domestic plug sockets. There's also a TV point next to the movable TV bracket. It is two degrees outside, but in here it's 24 degrees, thanks to the Truma diesel combi heating system. Now it heats the hot water and it heats the motorhome. It can run off electricity when you're plugged in, but it can also run off the diesel in your fuel tank. Now that makes it really easy to fill up and it also really increases this motorhome's off-grid capabilities. Because you do not like being cold. Because I do not like being cold. Now we're in the kitchen, the cooking area, and the first thing you'll notice is just how much space there is in here to move around. Over this side is the massive 138 litre compressor fridge, and above that is the 12 litre freezer for your uh, cocktails, ice cubes, and your ice cream. Then the kitchen itself, first thing to note is the plugs, I quite like this touch, the plugs actually face in different directions, so the top plug isn't interfering, the cable isn't interfering with the bottom plug. Then you've got your Cooker, you've got three gas rings and one electric hot plate. Below that is the combination grill and oven. Massive storage under here, here, your cutting drawer here, huge cupboard up here. And then the sink itself has a cover on it to give you a bit more workspace that I can pop off. And on the other side is a chopping board. And if you need even more space to prepare your food, you can flip that out and you're good to go. Up next is the bathroom, very important. It's all behind this beautiful timbre door, designed to save space. 
And there's a lot of innovation within the bathroom that's all designed to create as much space and to use that space as best as possible. You've got the toilet, that's fixed, works the normal toilet. Then you've got the mirror, and behind that is some useful storage space. Beneath that is the sink unit with a special tap. I'll come onto that in a second. And below that, more storage space. Now that whole sink unit slides to one side. You can then pull the tap out, and it's on the end of a hose, which hooks up to the ceiling, and that creates your shower area. And finally, on the floor is a movable panel that pops out to create that shower tray. An excellent use for the space you have. Now before I show you the bedroom itself, let's have a look at this amazing use of space. So we've got a pull-out wardrobe. Looks like a cupboard, but actually oh, it goes even further and there are shelves under the back bit. We've also got a very handy drawer for some storage. And underneath the bed, you can access all of that storage space and more at this side. Now, if you're a bit worried about how to get onto this nice high bed, don't be, watch this. We've got some little steps. Here we go. So here we are on this lovely, comfy double bed. It's quite enormous, actually. It's got the whole width of the motorhome. And as well as the really comfy bed, you've got some brilliant cubby storage at the sides, not to mention these three cupboards which go all the way back to the wall. Now, as Andy mentioned earlier, We've got some spotlights here with USB charging points. There's another three pin socket here and a three pin socket with a TV point over here. Now, while I have a little lie down and see how comfy this bed really is, Andy is gonna show you around the external features of this gorgeous motorhome. So externally, on the Allura, we've got a length of 6.9 metres, a width, crucially, of only 2.1 metres, making it much narrower than a normal motorhome, so it's easier to park, easier to drive. Up top is a 100 watt flexible solar panel, underneath is your 100 litre fresh water tank and your 100 litre wastewater tank, and the back, my favourite feature from the external point, is the garage. In this massive garage space, you've got a light, You've got a heater from here and drainage points, which is great for drying out wet kit. Power sockets for a 12 volt or a 240 volt domestic three pin plug. There's tie down points to keep stuff secure and loads of extra storage space in here, here, there. And finally, these doors give access to your water pump and your gas bottle. So there we have it, the brand new Allura 694S from Bailey of Bristol. It's not just luxurious, it's got the cleverest use of space that I've seen in the motorhome. Externally, that key feature for me would be the big garage at the back, but even more crucial than that is the width of it, making it easier to drive, easier to park, easier to take anywhere and ready for your next adventure. <laughs>